So the examples we're going to do now, it's about simplification, how to simplify. So I'm going to start with 5x multiply by 2x minus 3. In a situation like this, we, we must first determine inside the bracket how many terms are we talking about. So in this case, there's two terms, 2x and minus 3. So the way that we distinguish between a term, we look at the signs over here. So the minus will say this is term number one and that is term number two. In the next example, we'll look at three terms or more. So, so how we're gonna do this is as follows. We first say, whatever we see outside the bracket, we're gonna multiply by each term inside the bracket. So the five X, we're gonna multiply by two X and by minus three. Very important, always keep the minus, this minus here as part of the number over there for the, as part of the term. So let's start. So first we're gonna say five X times two X. If I say times, I mean multiply. So five X times two X equals. So the first thing we're gonna do, we first gonna take the X's. So multiply the X's with each other. And then we're gonna get X multiplied by X, give you X squared. Thereafter, we're gonna do the numbers. You're gonna take five multiplied by two. And five multiplied by two gives us 10. So that's, that's the first one we're gonna do. Um, then the second one, we're going to say five X multiplied by minus three. And again, we first gonna start with the X's. There's only one X, that X over there. You know, there's no X's there. That's why we only write the X once. And then we're gonna use the numbers five and minus three. Before we continue, I just wanna say, if there's no sign in front of a number, always tell yourself that that's an invisible plus because we never say plus five or plus three. We always just say five or three. So if there's no number, there's a plus. So now it's much easier to say plus five times minus three. So first take the five times three, which will give us 15. And then we're gonna say a plus and a minus gives us a minus. So there is the first example. This video is recorded, so I'm gonna remove this and go to my second example. So the second example we are going to do is one with three terms. So it's three X multiply by x squared minus 2x plus 1. Again, like the previous one, the first thing we must identify is how many terms are we talking about in the bracket because we're going to multiply the 3x with each term inside the bracket. So again, look at the, at the signs. There's a minus and there's a plus. So if you see a minus and a plus, it tells us we're talking about this is a term x squared, the second term is minus 2x, and the third term is plus 1. So we have three terms. That means at the end, we're going to have three terms for our answer as well. So now we're going to multiply the 3x with each term inside. So let's do something like this. First, 3x multiplied by x squared. Then we're going to do 3x multiplied by the second one, and then 3x by the third one. So let's start. First, we're going to take 3x times x squared. So let's first start with the x's. x times x squared is x to the power 3. What that means is if there's a nothing on top, on top of the x, again, is an invisible one. And how we do this, we just say x. I'm just going to do it separately over here. So basically, this part here looks like this, x times x squared. So if there's nothing there, there's actually an invisible one. And this is just a, a rule of maths. 
that if you have something like this, then the answer is going to be X. And then the two terms on top you add up, which is one plus two. And then the answer is X to the power three. So just to repeat again, if you have terms like this, and the, oh, very important, that's if the bottom one is the same, the, the base. So you have a base of X and a base of X. And if you do have that, and then, then you can say the one plus one that you add up, which gives us this one plus one here. And then the answer is X to the power of three. This is just a side note, just to explain how you do the X times X squared. I'm just going to remove this. So let's continue with the sum. So okay, maybe now. <laughs> So we have, we're busy with the first term, 3x multiplied by x squared. So we did x times x, x times x squared, which gave us x to the power three. Then the second one, we're gonna do just the numbers. And just another side note, if you don't see any number in front of the x, just tell yourself that's an invisible one. And if there's no sign, it's an invisible plus. And again, in front of the, three is so invisible plus. So at the end of the day, we're going to say plus three multiplied by plus one. And that answer will give us three. So that's the first term. Let's do the second, second part. So the second part is three X multiplied by minus two X squared. And again, you first do the X's. So let's write, oops, let's write the X over there. So now we're going to say, the x to the power one multiply again there also. If you don't see anything there, just tell yourself there's an invisible one. And again, x, x one multiply, sorry, x one multiply by x one. You just do again a side note, x one times x one. Again, like the previous sum, you're gonna say if the base is the same, there's a x, there's a x. That means we can write this X over there. And, oops. Okay, I thought I lost everything. So if the base is the same, that X and that X over there, then you can just write the answer is X. And then the one plus one, which gives us X to the power two. And let me just remove this. So that X to the power two, that is what we're gonna write here. Again, just a reminder, we're still busy with this part, three X multiplied by minus two X. So we did this part X times X, which is X to the power one times X to the power one, which gives us X squared. Then we're gonna do the numbers, which is, plus three times minus two. I always like to start with the numbers. So do the three times two, which gives us six. And then we're gonna do the, the signs, which is a plus and a minus. And that plus and a minus will give us a minus. Again, just a side note. Um, in maths, um, if you have things like this, a plus and a minus, just a rule that I, that I do a plus and a plus gives you a plus. So a plus and a minus gives you a minus, a minus and a plus gives you a minus, and a minus and a minus gives you a plus. So that's why in this case we had this plus three times plus one. So plus and a plus is this part here. So the answer is plus. That's why we had the plus three over there. And then the second part that we did was the plus three multiplied by the minus two. Three times two is six and a plus and a minus is this part here, the plus and a minus and the answer is that minus over there. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe this out because we're still busy with the, continue with the rest of the, with the answer. So now we're going to the third part. So the first term is finished, the second one we've multiplied and now we're going to the last one which is three X times one. 
here's an X and there's no X. So if you write it like that, you can just put the X over there. And then the numbers, you're gonna have plus three times plus one. So three times one gives us three. And like I explained previously, a plus and a plus gives us a plus. Oops, let me just write this better. So plus three X. I just want to explain something I always do in maths. Just before I finish with a, with a sum, I just double check all my answers again. So let's do it together. Let's do the three X times X squared. So X times X squared is three, X to the power three and plus three times plus one is a three. So that, that part is correct. Then the second part is to do three X times minus two X, X times X is X squared and three times minus two is minus six. So that is correct. And the third one is three X times plus one. So this is one X, so that's fine. And three times one is three. So that part is correct. Okay, so that is number two that, that we've done. Just want, just want to do a last example. This is a bigger than what we've done up to now. So let's, is four x plus one plus three, two x plus four. So I'm going to do this a little bit faster because in the, in the previous example, I went into detail how to work out the brackets. So I'm gonna do this one a little bit faster than the previous one. So again, we're gonna have the four that we're gonna multiply by each term. The one term is X and the other term is plus one. And then we also have another part over here. And for that, we're gonna do exactly the same. We're gonna say plus three, multiply by each term over there. And again, the term inside each bracket is um, distinguished with a sign. So there's one plus here. So that's why we have two terms. There's a plus there. That's why we have two terms. So let's start with this part first. So I'm gonna split it up and I'll first do this part and then I'm going to do that part. Okay, so let's do the first part. So for the first part, I'm gonna say four times X and that answer is four X. Then I'm gonna say four times plus one and that answer is plus four. And then now I'm finished with the first part. I'm finished with this. Now I'm going to this over here. And if I do this, I, I'm, I'm gonna call the sign plus because if we have a minus, then we have to say minus three or minus four, or whatever. So I'm just gonna keep the plus over there. So for the second part, we're gonna do plus three multiply by two X. And that answer is plus six X. And the last part, we're gonna say the plus three multiply by plus four. And that answer is plus 12. Again, let me just, just double check. So there we have four times X is four X, four times one is plus four. Then three times two X gives us six X and three times four gives us 12. I always double check because if you make one, one wrong, um, if this, for example, if you write it 10, then the rest of the, um, some, the, the working will also be wrong. So that's why each and every step, I always just double check my answer just to ensure that I know each step is correct because if each step is correct, then the final answer will also be correct. Okay, now for this part, um, we're just gonna add up all the X's. So here we have four X and another four X. So this is just four terms. So here we have four terms before we continue, we have four X, and this is another term, that's another term, that's the last term. So this is just, um, it's previous grades work where we're just gonna add up the terms. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna add up first the four X and the six X, because that is, that is like terms. Four X plus six X gives us 10 X. And then I'm gonna do the numbers. We have a four X and the plus 12. And that answer gives us plus 16. Just double check again. 
4x plus 6x is 10x, 4x plus 12, oh, sorry, 4 plus 12 is plus 16. So there we go, that is correct. Thank you very much, that was simplifi simplification. Thank you, bye-bye.